Okay, so the Source of Wars thing happens, which kind of set a tone mm -hmm. between Bad Boy and Death Row. Yeah. But Pac was still in jail mm -hmm. when this happened. Mm -hmm. Pac gets out. Mm -hmm. Well, first he drops California Love, mm -hmm. which ends up becoming a huge single. Mm -hmm. And All Eyes on Me comes out. Mm -hmm. Huge album. And then Tupac drops Hit Him Up, which actually samples a Junior Mafia record mm -hmm. of Get Money. Mm -hmm. When you guys first heard Hit Him Up, what'd you think? Um, well, you know, in context of that specific story is um, at the time when Tupac finally did get out of jail and he, you know, whatever happened with Suge and Interscope, um, he came home and at that moment in time, Big was the biggest rapper on the planet, right? True. He was huge. I'm talking about he was <laughs> on fire. Mm -hmm. He had sold two million albums probably at that time. Uh, the Mafia was pushing a million. Kim was pushing platinum, right? And then we come out. No, Kim's album wasn't even out yet. Yeah, it wasn't out yet. Right. It was the Mafia was doing amazing. So we had this hit record called Get Money, and we had a remix uh, to it. And, you know, all of a sudden, Pac comes home and we're at a video shoot and somebody plays Hit Him Up for us. And we all looked at each other like, what the fuck just happened? Because, like I said, that record was hot. It was big. And all of a sudden, because me personally, like I said, I'm ready to go to war. I wanted to shoot a video the next day, make a song the next day, and 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 you know, make one of those uh videos targeting Suge and Death Row. And Big was like, nah, we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna do what we're, we're not gonna even respond. Well, you said uh, I think on a DJ Self interview that Big cried like a baby. Yeah when he heard that record, because the record starts off, listen, there's been diss records in hip hop mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. The bridge, bridge is over, mm -hmm. it's a very scathing, mm -hmm. you know, scathing diss record. Um, you know, there's been a long, you know, Busy B, Cool Mo D, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. But Hit Em Up starts off with Pac talking about, I fucked your wife. Mm -hmm which really no one had ever gone that far before. Yeah, yeah. That's how it starts off. Mm -hmm. And then from there on in, there's all types of other, mm -hmm. you know, things that were said. Mm -hmm. So it was, it kind of took hip hop, you know, hip hop battling to a new low, mm -hmm. I felt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't really talk about wives, kids yeah. and so forth, you know? You fast forward 2023, now you're talking about your dead relatives yeah. and your yeah kids and whatever but right. at that point that was extremely shocking right so that comes out and, and what do you think was really the real reason between the beef between biggie and Pac? because like you said Pac called biggie afterwards to help him get the gun mm -hmm. so they were cool before he went into prison mm -hmm. now he's out of prison mm -hmm. and there's this whole beef thing what mm -hmm. do you think was the real reason behind it the real reason was the fact that Biggie was huge. He was huge and he needed, he ne it was all, of, like I said, Vlad, Nas, Biggie, and Pac. Those were the, the top, because Pac, like I said, Pac went to jail, right? He did whatever he did. So now Biggie has, has staked claim to the king of hip hop. Right? I'm the d d target now. I am the king. Right? So now everybody else is like, okay, I got to get back. Right? That's what makes 50 so 
relevant to what he was doing when he took Pac's formula <laughs> and said, oh, I'm going to make a hit record and disrespect you on a record, right? That's what rap is. Rap has always been artists battling for the number one spot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all in the part of the game. Yeah. Who's number one? 